one shot chase a thousand. Uh, should be up now, yeah. And the brother could grab that up. You open it up? Alright. Might as well. Can brothers uh, see us and uh, YouTube? Shalom, shalom. We are the true Hebrew Israelites coming from Great Millstone, Indiana, Cap out here in Gary. Here to give all praise, glory, worship, the honor of two. Yeah, how Yeah, by Shem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Who are the true rulers and leaders of Israel? And shall belong to the true and sincere Akim out there preaching and teaching the truth and truth and sincerity, man. Without further ado, we're gonna hop in the spirit, man, because uh we were just discussing how the Lord has gotten a lot of us out of near death experiences, man. And the time is gonna come where the Lord is gonna repeat them same them same things on a on a higher on a higher scale, man. Jacob's trouble was around the corner. And while everybody else is panicking and not knowing what to do, the Lord is going to put a different spirit on us, man. It's not going to be a spirit of fear. Like, we're going to look and see some gruesome things. Might might be fearful, but the Lord is going to put an extra dose of faith and courage in you in that time, man. You're not going to you're not gonna be uh, worried as other men is, man. Matter of fact, can the brother grab that and... Uh, Isaiah, the 65th chapter. And it says, the service is going to eat. I got a precept real quick. You got it, bro. It's uh, Psalm 33 and 18. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Mm. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, be upon us according as we hope in thee. You can break it down, brother. Kind of, so I've been meditating on this precept heavy, man. Just because of, like what brother was saying, the times that we're coming into. To where we're just going to be running on faith and hope in the Lord. You know, we're going to be fully uh, plugged out of this matrix, man. To where... We're gonna have to rely on your Hawabashim Yahushai and his name and his words uh, uh, to the max, man. And, you know, but but the eyes of the Lord are upon them, man. Are upon them that hope in his mercy. Ooh. And it says to deliver their soul from death. So he's gonna he's gonna like the brother saying, pull you out of situations and near death experiences. A hey, uh, no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Ooh. You know, he's gonna be he's gonna be with you, man. Just have that faith and hope. And that confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and if if the Lord be with us, who can be against us, right? Because we got we got the power of the universe, you know, on our side, man. I got a pre for you right here. This is Psalms chapter thirty-four, and I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at oh man, I'm gonna start at the top. It says, "I will bless Yahweh at all times; His praise shall continually be in my mouth." My soul shall make her boast in the in Yahweh. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify Yahweh with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahweh and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. So, hey, all this, all this work that we're doing, praising him, magnifying his name, man, he's hearing us, man. Our prayers crack the clouds. You know, he actually hear us. He don't hear everybody when they pray, but he hear us, mm -hmm. right? And he said he deliver us from all our fears, man, you know? And if I may, too, it says, I will bless him at all times, whether that be your good and your bad, <laughs> you know? Because it is, um, you know, you, you often pray a lot more when, when you're in times of need. You know, you beg a lot, but we also have to be uh, mindful uh, to give his praise and prayer unto the Lord, even in our best, man, because it's all from the Lord at the end of the day, you know, I'm speaking first and foremost to myself, because, <clears throat> yeah, you, you know, during, uh, what was that, in times of prosperity, you know, you often, you don't regard the, the times of your low, but in the times of your low, you look upon the uh, better times, uh, yeah. so when you're in the better times, you know, cherish it, yeah, you with know, the gifts of prosperity in the days of adversity, that one, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. 
It says, uh, verse 5, it says, They looked unto him and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of Yahweh encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. So this is this is the difference between us and these average uh human beings out here, man. Ordinary mortals. Ordinary <laughs> mortals. The water. Because we we uh fear in the Lord, man. So because we fear the Lord, his angels is camped around us, man. You know what I'm saying? Why? Our walks is, is in reverence of him. Our our thought processes, you know what I'm saying, not wanting to offend him. Mm-hmm. Always want to, you know, do better within ourselves, man. Thoughts that may come to our man that's not right, we rebuke them. You know what I mean? We actually putting up a fight every second of the day, man. It's because of reverence and how about Shemi And what is he going to do? He's going to he's gonna have his angels uh, uh, protect us, man, yep. in our coming and our going. God. That's and then it's on the flip side, too. That's why he didn't give us, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give us this, the, uh, the spirit of fear. For the, um, for the world, for sound mind, right? Somebody get that with a you know, but a sound mind. Yeah, but a mm-hmm. power, but a love. But somebody get mind. that, yeah, kind. Of. Can I get this real quick, folks? Go, go ahead, but get what you got. This is uh, Psalms thirty-seven and thirty-nine, and it reads, "But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord; He is their strength in the time of trouble, mm-hmm. and the Lord shall help them and deliver them, and He shall deliver them from the wicked and, sh- and, and save them, because they trust in Him." Mm. So the righteous are going to put their trust in the Heavenly Father, man. And we, we, we show that we fear the Lord through our actions. That's right. You know, every day, man, you know, we constantly fearing the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? But through that fear of the Lord, you know, he comforts us, man. You know what I'm saying? So when, when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, the Lord's going to put a special spirit upon us to go through these things. That's why the Lord said, uh, since you have kept my word, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which means he's going to put you in the spirit where you're not going to fold. So what other devil got Ooh. got going on, man? You know, because because faith, Don't that faith, that faith gonna um, trump trump that fear. You know, like every you know people who don't believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, they gonna have that big fear on them, man. You know, they ain't gonna be kept from the hour of temptation. You know, two thirds, man, they gonna they gonna go right. You know, what I'm saying to the left, real quick. You know, what I'm saying because look, they're gonna be hungry, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna be hearing all them screams. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, 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 the. Uh, you know, people getting their heads getting beheaded, you know, in that day. You know, they ain't like, oh, fuck that. I don't want to go through all that, man. But see, the, the Lord gave the men of the, uh, uh, he didn't get the men of the Lord uh, uh, a spirit of fear, but he gave us faith. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In that time, in that hour, you know what I'm saying? Who knows what, what's going to happen, man? The Lord going to probably have angels, you know, camped around you. You probably going to see the angels, you know, literally. You know, and the angel's gonna be encouraging, like, don't worry about it, man. We got you. Like, like the yep. uh, chariot yep. uh, that we was following that day mm-hmm. and that night mm-hmm. when uh, we was being escorted from uh, Egypt in the wilderness, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a chariot that we was following uh, that day and night, man. And it's gonna and it's gonna probably be the same thing. And two, another thing is we knew that we was taking our time <clears throat> and using our grace period to get closer to the Lord. And the wicked, they're going to be ashamed because they knew they wasn't uh, doing what they were supposed to do to get close to the Lord, man. Right. Ain't going to have no oil. I got that for you. Let me, uh, so I can, uh, switch up here. Switch up. I got one more. Come on, come on. Let, let, let him read that one real quick. Come on. This is uh, Second Timothy's 1 and 7. Mm-hmm. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of his, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel, according to the power of the Most High, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which he which was given us in Hamashiach Yahushai before the world began. Now, can you read that all? That's beautiful. Know? I was like, can you pass by a lot of... All right, this is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. I wait for somebody else to say so. Go ahead. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. See? And not all those things goes into uh, being assured, man, being fully persuaded in your own mind. 
Read that again. Spirit of fear and what? And of power. a sound mind. No, let me sound read it again. Mind. But of but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Because you're not really thinking about what. Because like I said before, the camera rolled. Fear is the uh, fear is an emotion that kicks in when you're thinking about the uh, the uh, the circle. I mean, not circumstances. Uh, scenarios. The scenarios of what could happen. Then fear settles in. You know. But instead of having your mind focused on that, you're thinking about what? The power that you have through the word. The love that the Lord has for you because you, you know, you abide in it. And what? And said, and of a sound mind. And a sound mind. Knowing and understanding. Being abiding and understanding that the Lord has gifted you with. Because what? Faith is a gift, man. Do it Ephesians 2. Go ahead. It's, it's like when we say, like, the word, a sound mind. You know, uh, and it go, that really goes into like spiritual survival mode because when you go into that man the fear that fear just completely just can go away man you know because now you know the spirit gonna guide you through you know what i'm saying those uh those rough situations man you know you, the lord gonna give you that uh that spiritual insight you're gonna have a sober mind you know you're gonna because you're quicken through the spirit man the spirit gonna guide you you know you ain't gonna be all uh uh carnal and your thinking, your thinking ain't gonna be a uh, rash. You ain't gonna be a uh, uh, what's it? What you say? Be not uh, make not haste. Constantly. You know what I'm saying? In, in a time of trouble, you know you're not gonna you're not you're gonna be calm. You know what I'm saying? All through the spirit power, y'all by shining always shine, man. You know, sound in the mind, man, because you, the Lord has already been equipping you. You know what I'm saying? And preparing you all this time. You know what I'm saying for uh, for these times to come. You know, witnessing uh, uh, some really harsh things. It's gonna be a lot of harsh things going on in that time, man. You know, you gonna you gonna probably have to witness that. But look, all of these other people, man, <coughs> you know, they, they 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 still drunk, man. Without the spirit, man, they gonna give into all of these uh, uh, and to this devil, man, real quick, man. You know, but through the spirit of power, you have by you you gonna be able to maintain. You know. And hold fast, man, until the Lord come. Or until you uh, 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 get called up in glory. You know? Yeah. It said, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony mm -hmm. of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel, mm -hmm. according to the power of the Most High, who hath saved us. Wait, or can you read that from five? It said, uh, yeah. Second Timothy 1 and 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Because it ain't putting it off like like uh like 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 examples of the scriptures I've gave, saying, Oh no, I'm not with them. Or no, I'm I am not of who you speak, you know, I do not know who you speak of and stuff like that, like denying your how about showing you shot in time of trouble. Why to escape to escape judgment and to escape affliction and to escape your cross, your burdens. Go ahead. Be not ashamed of them, man. He said, nor of me, his prisoner, mm -hmm. to one your fellow brother, because yeah. mm -hmm. we all prisoners of hope. Or, you know, prisoners of hope. So we're not going to be ashamed of our brothers or nor of the Lord. Yeah. Are you with them? No. Okay. You know. And a good example of that was Peter. Yeah. You know, Peter, he told the Lord, he told the Lord, told Peter, you're going to die me three times. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Peter was over, 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 you know, if I'm using he was right, confident in the plain he way. He was confident in the plain way. And that puts us in fear. We don't know how it's going to play out. We just pray and hoping that the Lord gives us the spirit to, him, to, to whatever we got to go, whatever our lot may be, gives the spirit and the strength to go through it, man. Because one, that. you could say you could say you all about the Lord and the Lord, like, okay, I'm going to see. He's going to put your ass in a situation where you make you make you bite your own tongue. And you don't want that to happen, you know? Me personally, I abuse it in my day-to-day -day life. Uh -huh. People always ask me, what you going to do with this? What if I saw so so so? I said, I don't fucking know. Because you're the goddamn fortune teller. You tell me what I'm going to do. So you the goddamn fortune teller, you can tell the future, right? You know what I'm saying? Wait up. It's a but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of the most high. Why mm -hmm. is that? Because he the uh he gotta bear your cross, man. Okay. You know, if you don't bear your cross, then you're not worthy of your Shemion Shah suffering. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because why he had he had this right away. It was right of passage. You know, he had to go through what he had to go through to get the glory. So we gonna have to go through what we have to go through to get the glory, you know. And it's gonna come into we all gonna have that garden of uh, Gethsemane moment, 
hey, you know, the Lord's going to be with us. Like he gave the Lord, he gave us, he gave us answer, he strengthened him. And the Lord went through what he went through. So the Lord's going to strengthen us, Lord willing. And yeah, our shot is going to be there right with us, helping us to get through it, man. And, and that's the spirit because you quoted it earlier, brother. You know, that's a, uh, Revelations uh, chapter 3. God. Verse 10 where he said, I sh and I shall keep you up. Uh, so I can keep you from out of temptation. Yeah, can I get it real quick? Can yeah. I finish off on this while you get it? Oh, yeah, can I? Go ahead, brother. This is verse 9. Uh -huh. Who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach and mm -hmm. before the world began. Right, if you're of the elect, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it was given unto you anyway, man, from the foundations of the earth, you know, to do this this marvelous work, man, you know? So in that day, hey, you gonna, you already covered anyway if you're part of the election. You know, but we don't know if we're part of the election. We, we, uh, we prisoners of hope, you know, we hoping. You know what I'm saying? It goes for us, man. That, those are for words of edification, you know? And that's why we uh, uh, draw not, not near to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah on the day with, with, uh, 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 with hope that he's drawing near to us on a day to day basis, man. So that we can escape, man, you know, what's coming, the destruction, you know, and also partake in the sufferings of the Lord, also uh, partake in his inheritance, man. This is uh, uh, Revelation 3 and uh, 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, hey, and we already know prophecies, man, all through the spirit of Yahweh, we see what this devil is doing. We see what, he gonna, uh, uh, what he's trying to implement right now, man. Even with all his smoke screens and all his distractions, you know, uh, Will Smith and Jada Pickett and all this madness, you know, all through that, man, we can still see what this devil doing through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. The Lord is equipping us and preparing us, man. All through the spirit, man. Lord willing, if we have that number. Because you can make, you may know this, you know what I'm saying, but in that time, you got to pray and hope that the Lord keep you from that, man. You know, because some men go, man, waver. Hey, hey, you, 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 they might not be men of the Lord, but it's just, it, this is what I'm saying, it's just the truth. Some dudes are going to waver in that time, man. They're going to bend, you know, and take that RFID chip, you know what I'm saying, and give up, man, give in, man, give up, brothers. You know, some men ain't going to be doing that, man. Turning on brothers, selling out, you know what I'm saying, for a, a, what you call a plea, a plea, a, a plea bargain deal. You know, there's some men like that. There's some Judas goats out here too, man. Just like our Lord, he gonna do the same thing. Guess what, man? The men of the Lord gonna go do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Judas goats. You know what I'm saying? In that time, cause they gonna get offered deals, man. And it's some niggas that's gonna take that shit, man. That's a scary thing, man. When you really think about that. I had a dream about that shit, bro. Scary ass dream, bro, and it was painful. Hurt my heart, bro, because it was brothers I loved. And, you know, I tell that dream, but I don't tell the brothers I seen doing that shit. Because it's just a dream at the end of the day. It might be some other brothers, might not be them. But, you know, it is what it is. I got a quick three for you. Go ahead, bro. This is Galatians chapter 6, and it says, uh, verse uh, 7 Be not deceived. The power is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that he also, that shall he also reap. Yep. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Mm. And we as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Huh. So the Lord, man, yeah, he said, be not mocked, man, because every man is gonna get according to the works. So if you uh sow into the spirit, man, like taking the time out, being with the Akim, 
You know what I mean? You reading when you by yourself. Uh, you fasting. You praying. You know what I'm saying? Listening to videos. You know what I'm saying? Doing the work out there teaching. You know what I'm saying? Presenting your body as a living sacrifice. You know? Hey, man. Nine times out of no, ten times out of ten, you're gonna receive the things of the spirit, man. Which is what uh, the attributes and and you storing up, you storing up your spiritual bank account, man. man. Well, when 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 our hell break loose, the Lord is uh, giving you portions of uh, uh, things that you work for, even though we don't deserve anything. But you know, the more you work for the Lord, man, He gives you more than what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you're gonna know in that day that you're covered. Mm. Unlike Esau, Edom, man, his tab is his sin. So, all that sin, you know, that he uh, uh, accumulated, man, and two thirds of Israel, all that sin they accumulated, they're gonna have to pay for that, man, through their blood man, and their shame, you know. But the men that's trying to do the right thing, uh, if I may, I got one more scripture. This is Psalms 121. And I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start the whole thing. Verse 1. It's eight verses. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. So, no matter what time of day it is, man, no matter what you're going through, he's always going to have an eye on you. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that uh, nobody is able to uh, tear you down or no demons are able to, uh, you know, uh, destroy you. You know what I mean? He's always going to be with you, man. You know? It says, uh, verse 5, it says, Yahweh is thy keeper, Yahweh is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time and even forevermore. So when all, all hell is breaking loose, man, the Lord is going to be with you and in front of you, in the back of you, to your left and your right of you, man. Though we walk in the um, shadow of the valley of death, you know what I'm saying, thy, uh, Thy staff and thy rod is with me. You know, to comfort us, man. It, it, I'll pull it up. Brothers, you know, I'm going to just bear on more. Right. Yeah, I'll quick for you, if I may. Come on. It's uh, Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The Lord is going to lift up a standard in those times, man. You know, and we do we believe those things, man. Miracles are coming. You know, you got to believe. The Lord said so you got to have, you know, he to have faith for all uh, the, the grains of the mustard seed. You know, roughly paraphrase, you can move mountains, man. Can I say what that standard is? Um, you got to. <laughs> <laughs> um, that standard, man. That standard is uh, what the Lord said he's going to do for us. You know, the Lord said, what, my servant shall eat. The Lord said, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, ten thousand at thy left, but it shall not come by thee. Mm. The standard is what the brother opened up with. The standard is what the Lord set. The Lord said, if you do me, you shall what? Be planted like a, like a tree by the rivers, man, by the rivers of water. Trees are not, trees are not easily moved. Mm. They're steadfast, man. Mm. Yep. Rooted and grounded. These are the standards that the Lord has set for his men that those that what that seek him and do fruits of the spirit, bearing forth good fruit. This is the standard that the Lord's gonna raise up against those bloody men that come in like a flood, man. Mm -hmm. This is that standard. This is the standard the Lord has set. You know, and and, and none shall disannul it. Mm. You know. It said uh verse twenty. The redeemer shall come out as come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression and, and Jacob saith the Lord. So the redeemer is coming back to deliver those who turn from their sins, man. The elect. Because why? The elect was once Gentiles, man. Following the customs, the ways of his life, but thanks to the grace and the mercy of the Lord, you know, he revealed he revealed himself once to us, and now we're coming out of those mindset, man. And we're repenting. 
and, and coming to the Lord with a broken and a contrite spirit, offering up uh, spiritual sacrifices, man, making ourselves a sacrifice, you know. And that's what the Lord he takes a liking on to those who hope in mercy, man. Yeah, I think so. You know. Uh, the book of Second Kings, chapter six, verse fourteen. Therefore, sent he hither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and encompassed the city round about. So they encompassed the city round about. Mm -hmm. And when the servant of the man whom Yahweh was risen early and gone forth, behold, had, it says, and a host compassed the city both with horses and chariots, and his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, and he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. All right? That, that, was, that was the point, though. Because the young man was scared because he saw a great host and army. He had to have seen, man, what, about 10,000 men, horses and chariots, man. You know, but to be compelled to, to, to encompass a city, probably 30,000, 10,000, you know what I'm saying? So he saw the chariots of the Lord, man. You know, he couldn't see him at first, but he had to open his eyes. You know, the Lord had to open his eyes to see those chariots of the Lord. They have to be more with, with us than it is with them. The Lord said, I should give my angels charge over thee to keep you in my own way. You know, so right now, there are angels in, in the works that we can't see. And that's the that's the knowledge and the strength and the love that we have to be rooted and grounded in, like the brother Gerard got in, uh, in the scriptures earlier. You know, this is the knowledge that we have to consider. You know, that we work for higher power. There are things happening that we cannot see. You know, and, and so, make, so it's what you call what you would call the, the guardian angels. The guardian angels. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what I'm saying. So if there's one of you, there's there's angels that are watching over you, so it's each person has one of those. You know what I mean? The hand of the Lord. If I may, the Lord said, "Man, think not what you shall say when you be delivered to the judge." Mm -hmm. That's why, man, that that spirit of fear settle in when you start to think of different scenarios that can happen to you. But when you understand, when you have the understanding and the strength that gives you a sound mind, when you go into the word "sound," it means whole. Mm -hmm. All right, that whole, that that sound mind. You know, that whole mind is understanding. Whatever happened to me, man, the Lord sanctioned it. The Lord said a, a sparrow don't fall to the ground unless the Lord sanctioned it. Everything that happens on the face of the earth, the Lord sanctioned it. So whatever's going to happen to me, it's going to happen to me. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna compromise my integrity, no. you know? That reminds you of what uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and I shall be the stability of thy times. Yep. And the fear of the Lord is the strength of thy salvation. Yep. You know, so that means the Lord is going to give you the spiritual, mental fortitude to endure Whatever you go through, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord, the brother just brought this, that, that story out, man. To show that the Lord is always going to be with those that fear him, man. That put that trust in him, man. Just like in the time of Moses, man. Pharaoh came with his army and shit. What the Lord did? He flooded the entire damn army. After he parted the entire Red Sea. Could you imagine, bro, the whole entire Lake Michigan just get parted down to the dry land? God, that mean they had to walk down into the... Dark. Deep, deep into the, cause you know a sea is deep and in, in it's, it's deep, deep as fuck. So they I mean they had to walk all the way down. Pharaoh following them, and that shit just. Bro, imagine you seeing the fucking like thousand down. foot the wall eclipse. of water. Yeah, you see a thousand foot wall of water to the atmosphere. Like what the fuck? <laughs> they had to climb down to even get that by yeah. to even walk across, man. You know, that's just walk, steep. walk down the shore. It's like a beach. You just keep going straight and get deep. And, you know, you don't know how deep that shit go. You know? Hey, the but Lord. the Lord said the Lord said they walked on dry land. Yeah, come on, that way you're wet. It, 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 it's say this it's specific it specifically said dry land. You know? They didn't even get wet. <laughs> That's the type of power. Probably didn't get wet. <laughs> no, I, mean, <laughs> I got a quick free brother said down now. Oh, uh, uh, this is uh Psalms twenty three that was harking on um uh, point I made earlier. Verse 1, it says, Yahweh is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. What does shepherd do? 
sheep don't hunt. All right, sheep graze. They have to be led to pastures. Pastures are grazing the field for eating. Oh, con. Hey, the Red Sea is 7,000 feet. God wow. damn! It would be seven. That's feet. Deep. <laughs> it, 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 so it would be seven. Red Sea is seven thousand feet deep. Damn! That's that's that's, 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 that's down. fucking deep. Bro. So well, seven thousand really represents completion. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, that's, that's mighty. Deep. That's mighty deeper back then. Yeah, it probably crazy. was deeper back then, Con. That's crazy. Yeah, but yeah. some of the water probably could have got dried up. Con. A shepherd man. A shepherd leads the guides. Like the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads. Guys, he knows what's best for me. He's gonna protect me. He's protect me. me. That's the right. key thing. Right. He's gonna guide and protect. And sheep tend to, sheep tend to, uh, stray along. Stray so. along, and then they keep dogs in the way. Mm -hmm. Dogs uh, symbolic for what? For his loyal, you know, loyal, loyal leaders to, to get you back in the way, man. Sheep dogs, you know. Yeah, come. And that's, hey, bro, if you read it, this is, uh, that's just, that's what we can are. We like sheep dogs, man. See, it's meat, it's meat in the milk once you do your research and dig deep. And I love this scripture because the Christian church quote this all the time, but they never broke down, they never, you never, know, never broke it down fully. They don't know what it means. They don't man. know what it means, but when you come to the truth, it makes total sense, man. Because now we're in them times. Yeah, man. Now we're, and it's going to get worse according to the scriptures, right? God. It says, uh, verse 2, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not no turbulence. You know what I'm saying? He leads them in a, in a way of peace. You know what I'm saying? Where it's not too much trouble. You know what I mean? Because it's going to be chaos all around us, man. Yeah. And if I may add, the green pastures, what do you like the brother says? Sheep graze. So, Lord of Spirit, that's somebody to them eating. The Lord of Spirit should be feeding us and sustaining us in a time of trouble. Woo! Like you just said, well, um, in the book of uh, the brother just quoted earlier, he said, "In the time of famine, my servant shall eat." So, in a time of, of, of destruction and death, we're not going to be physically eating, but we're going to be spiritually eating and being, you know, spiritually. Probably both. Yeah, both. Through the spirit, I know what you mean, because it's it's like it's like our spirits is going to be fed because of according to us believing in this word and speaking this word, man, our bellies is going to flow with living water, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we're not gonna thirst. We're not gonna hunger. Cause it's gonna be two type of famines going on, man. It's gonna be the famine for bread and water, and it's also gonna be a famine for the for the, for the hearing of the word, man. Yeah. You know, according to Amos. <laughs> so he say, uh, he say, uh, verse three. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path paths of righteousness for His name's sake, because He made us promises. And we're going to, and, and us that, that know these words, we're going to recall them promises to the Lord and our prayers to him. Like, Lord, you said, you know what I'm saying? So for his name's sake, he's going to be like, ah, he remembered that. I'm going to hold you down. You know what I mean? Then he say, uh, verse four, it says, yo, he said, yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, mm. for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And who's the rod and the star? Oh, yeah, how was shine the angels, man? It's good to say it's uh, Hebrews 12, I mean 2, it's the second chapter. And like in the, uh, one of the last two verses, he said he's, uh, it behooves him to be made like unto his brethren. So he may be able to succor those, uh, you know, pretty much roughly paraphrasing. And that word succor means to help. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord's going to be there actually guiding us through this time of trouble and comfort us, just like how he did in the land of Egypt. He was a chariot by night. It was a, it was a, uh, it was a pillar, pillar of fire. Day. Pillar of fire. Pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. That was your hour shot. If I may, you said it right on the head. He's going to be a guidance. So his word, too, is our is uh, that staff and that rod, man. You know what I'm saying? Because what? It's the guidance and it's the correction. You know what I mean? So, so basically, and it's the protection. It's everything, right? Because we believe on him as the scripture says. Not off our uh, own vain thoughts like the Christians or anybody else that's walking this earth would actually believe as the word says. Like, uh, then it says, uh, Go back up, he says, the uh, valley of the shadow of death. What is that, man? Like, especially since this is, I mean, he, you know, of course, it's the day of Jacob's trouble, but even now, he's talking about the, the world we're living in today. Mm -hmm. Death lurks in every corner. Why about Esau's devices? 
Esau's devices and also the philosophy. Because when, when Ezekiel saw the, uh, the Valley of Dry Bones, he was looking at the place where the people having no knowledge. Huh. And we living in that time right now, man. You know, knowledge mm-hmm. starting to flourish, but, you know, those are just people with symptoms. You know, those people just got, you know, a little bit. You know, but they don't have flesh. They have, they have no spirit. They have not been blessed with the uh, breath, the breath of life. What you say? I'm going to finish off right here. It says, uh, verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed, anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. It's so beautiful how he, he said that because we just said he lives in the, in the green pastures. <coughs> so the Lord further elaborate what those green pastures mean and later on in the verse, mm-hmm. which means he's going to be spiritually feeding us and physically. You know, in the times of trouble, man. That's what he's doing right now. We we we've been fed this word in the presence of our enemy. When they try to when they work so hard to keep the food from us mm-hmm. by spending trillions upon dollars to go to keep this truth from us. And now the Lord like, no, nah, I'm gonna feed them. And like like you said, in the presence of our enemies, mm-hmm. man. In the presence of our foes, our adversaries, man, we're gonna be okay. Everyone around us is gonna be messed up, man. And hey, even them brothers that's going to have to go through the uh, jail to face tribulation, man, you best believe that the spirit is going to still be on them men, man. You know what I'm saying? To be tried. That's because the spirit is still going to be on them. Yeah. You know? The Lord not going to let them be uh, led astray, man. He's not going to lead them astray. He's going to eat. And it's going to, you know what? A lot of the times, man, the Lord already know. He do it for you so you can know. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times, man. So you can you can have that in yourself, not for him to have it because he already know who you are, man. Sometimes you gotta know that the Lord is dealing with you for yourself. Sure. So God, you gotta remember His words. Mm-hmm. Because his words is what's gonna get you through. He's already showed it to you. Exactly. You know, He showed you, man, the, um, you know, the prophecies. You know, the uh, the end game. Mm. You know, mm. He's been preparing you man, for the times to come. Showing you that he was with you, man. Yep, that's it. For you to so you so you can recall it in that time. Like so you can know, man. See those that ain't gonna have a faith is those that don't know the Lord is with them. That's it. That's it, yep. It's all this time they've been bullshit. Yeah. Anybody got something? I got uh Revelations uh, two and ten. It says fear none of those things which thou shall suffer. Behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulations ten days. But the faithful, it's like your butt, it's like your, uh, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Hey, because they're going to be a testimony, man. Yep. They're going to be a testimony amongst everyone that's around them. Everyone around them is going to see that these men still held firm to the word, man. Yeah, cause because the Lord said, look, He said, be fear. He said, uh, fear none of these things, man. Don't even fear, you know, them taking your uh, your body, your flesh, this mm-hmm. flesh, you know, you know, because you know, hey, the scriptures tell us. Uh, I got another one, real quick. If I may, go one. ahead. And then that might be a time where you might wake people up in that in that um in that tr- time of tribulation, man. Mm-hmm. You might be people around you that's looking at you and observing you through the spirit, man. And you might wake them up, and that might be the last hour. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when everything's going to collapse. Everything's going to go down, man. You done sat there and woke some folks up in the last hour. They didn't even have to do the work, but by, by watching you, they gained faith. You know? And then you might die. You might be a martyr. A martyr is a witness. First and foremost, you're going to be a witness. But then if you die, you know what I'm saying? Precious is the uh the death uh in the eyes. The precious of the of the death of the saints in the eyes of the Lord. Man. Because why? Because even in that time, look through the spirit, man, look. How you can bring somebody over in that last and final hour is encouraging them through the word. Ooh. You know, and telling them, hey, don't be afraid, man. Hey, we better be in paradise with the Lord. The back of beans. You know, because what, what did it say in the book of First Thessalonians? It said, uh, 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 he said that the dead shall rise first in the Mashiach. I got you. You yes. know what I'm saying? It's locking, go ahead, bro. No, that's a spirit because I was meditating on that last night, man. Yeah. The Lord might put you in concentration camps just so you go encourage those that are not to take that MOTD. Kind of, yeah. To be a martyr. 
the shit, man. So they encouraged them, like, damn, he went through it. Fuck it. Because you might be enough just, just to encourage them. They don't take it, man. You know, this ain't the end all be all. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Why? Because we believe we're going to get res- we, go- we believe in the resurrection. That's it, yeah. Uh-huh. We believe the Lord's going to resurrect us just like how he resurrected Yahweh Shai. That's right. You no, know, the, 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 like the brother said, the, the, the spirit of fear is with people lack of awareness of the other side. We understand that there's no such thing as death. Huh. The spirit don't die. It's just energy doesn't, yeah. what does it say? Industry, energy energy is neither created nor destroyed. Huh. It's transferred. It's transferred, man. Huh. It's transferred. Yep. Huh. Yep. I got the first half of my name. Brother, you can get it off. First Thessalonians four and fifteen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, verse fifteen. For this we say unto you by the word of Yahweh that we that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of, of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord Himself shall descend from he- from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. Yeah, that's good. He said the Lord Himself. He's gonna come with a loud shout. You know what I'm saying with the uh, 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 voice like a trumpet, man. Cause that's gonna be the it's like you're the last trump. The last trump. That's the last trump, man. Basically, it's an introduction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> into this world. Cause we've been doing that already. We've been blowing a trumpet, man, warning you. You know, saying that the Lord is coming, mm-hmm. warning you about you know uh, uh, the destruction that's coming. You know, and then the Lord, He gonna come. He gonna blow. You know what I'm saying? The last trump, man. He's going to make his grand entrance into the world, His man. glory, man. You know, and he's going to come in all his glory, man. And the right. world going to see that, man. They're going to be like, oh, shit. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's a every eye shall see him. Yeah. They think it's, it's going to yes. be like a... <laughs> it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war, war cry. Because they say it's the Ark of Mark. Oh, my God. Oh, my but they say the mighty thing about it is when they see him, they going to... Like, because the world looking for this Kenny G looking ass nigga, man. You know, they gonna see the, lo- the long blonde Rainbows hair. Rainbows and lollipops, man. Rainbows yeah. and lollipops. Not saying Kenny G a, a Jake, by the way, but. I'm oh, just, I said the white dude, yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> saxophone <laughs> player. Yeah. Charlie Manson. They have a fucking S. But I'm just using that because that's how the way, you know, they depicted Jesus. Jesus, they saved him. That's what they're gonna be looking for, Jesus, they saved him. They ain't gonna be looking for Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai gonna crack the clouds, man. They gonna see this dark skinned brother with a white afro and a big old white beard. They gonna be like, what the fuck? What is that? You know what I'm saying? Muscle bound, you know, with the angels. He's gonna be said <laughs> muscle. You know, with the angels, mighty angels, man. They gonna be like, oh shit. It's right hand man, yeah. Michael, right there. Kind, yeah. Ready to get his in. <laughs> the angel of war. That's mm-hmm. it, man. And if I may add real quick, yeah. even if we gotta be more, just have it in your mind just knowing that this is the last death. That's it, yeah. Ain't no death after this. He got it. You got it, bro. And, and that, hey, see, and that's the beautiful thing about it, though, man, because people going to see that, man, with their eyes, literally. It's going to be made being, it's gonna, what we've been preaching all this time out here in the highways and the byways is literally going to be being made manifest before they face it. I'm like, oh, shit. It's people literally going to be out here, you know, defecating on themselves, man. <laughs> You know, when they see the, the sight of the Lord, man, they're going to be literally defecating on themselves, man. Having heart attacks, you know, and strokes. Like, what the fuck? Shitting on themselves. Right. Hey, that soft-ass Jesus nigga you was looking for ain't going to come, man. Unless the Lord have Cesare Borgia in his, you know, with his hand wrapped around his neck. And throw him down to your ass like, hey, hey your guy right there, nigga. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Continuing on verse 16. Yeah. And with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. See, the dead in, Yah- in Hamashiach gonna rise first, man. Because look, they became mortars for the Lord, man. You know, they stood still. Like we're saying, the book of uh, Second Ezra. I was gonna get that for you, too. You see, hey, hey, they stood so still, man, for the Lord, man. Hey, the, hey, the Lord gonna rise them up first, man. Like, yeah, it reminds you that 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 move that that brother that came to the camp. Yeah, we always bring it out, man. But he he did that for you know the Lord put it on spirit for a reason Con, to say that. Con, yep, yep, yep. We ain't seen him since, man. He said, man, could have been an angel, bro. Yeah, the Lord said yeah. what? Uh, he's no, he said what? He had a dream. He had a dream that you know he was on the guillotine, and the Lord, you know, you know, pretty much they sliced his neck. They they they, they guillotine him. 
And then he, he said he didn't feel it. Next thing you know, he was in the spirit realm and something touched him. He came back to where they was killing people and he was a ferocious. What did he say? He was a ferocious beast. He was like <laughs> ripping them like paper, man. He um, said he just ripping them like paper, man. And, and so was all uh, Aki, man. Just ripping, ripping this devil, man. Like, man, that's going to be us. Man. Man. Hey, because the Lord said he's going to make us his battle axe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Mapataza, Mapataza, man. We're going to be up here, like, who running through Esau, man. We're like, we going to be like, uh, what do you say? We're going to be a flame. Well, and Joseph going to be like a spark. We're going to be running right through this damn devil, man, in that time, man. You know, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. Well, this is ass like John Madden. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. Man, the, the, the NFL blitz, nigga, get on fire. Yep. And you ain't no, ain't, ain't gonna, that's going to be us on Esau ass. Lucky, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hitting all the gaps. Yeah. I had a precept. I'm like, he got more than that, though. Uh -huh. But hey, you still reading that, wasn't you? Uh, I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Please, please. Go ahead, brother. Uh, First Thessalonians 4 and 17. Mm -hmm. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yahweh, our Shem Yahushai. Because it's going to be brothers that ain't going to get, that ain't going to taste death like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they're they going to be in these fleshy-ass bodies, but they're going to be called up in a twinkling of an eye, man. Their body's going to just change, man. They're going to get that uh, incorruptible body. And they're going to meet up with the brothers that already died in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man, up on the chariots. Hey, you know, Lord willing, we are the elect. We're going to all be on that boy rejoicing, man, praising the Lord. Call on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, we're going to be happy, man, in that day, man. It's going to be a family reunion. That's it, man. Yep. That's First it, Fruit Spear is going to be back together. That's it. It's just, like, it's just the beginning, man. Yep. And like I was, I was, I was saying that earlier. I was, talking, I was doing a lesson earlier, and I was meditating on what you just said. Nothing's leaving here. Not even this this flesh. That's it. Not no your your, your favorite Jordans, your favorite car, your couch. You know what I'm saying? None of that shit going into the kingdom, man. This your only thing leaving here is your spirit, literally. You're going to be into those new bodies, man. And everything going to be new. Everything, everything's being burnt <laughs> over here, man. That's it, man. Your job, all that shit getting burnt up, bro. All that shit, man. You ain't got to never do fucking cable no more, work in a grocery store no more, <laughs> drive <laughs> Uber no more, none of that shit, man. It's going to be just peace, peace you know, Lord willing, man, in the kingdom of heaven, man, forever and ever and ever, man. That's what we looking forward to. Man. And Lord knows how long we're going to yep. be up there. God. I mean, you know, some things you meditate on, like, how, how long we going to be up there? How long that ceremony going to be? We don't even know. Time can be different. <laughs> it could be, like, for 10 years, 20. Time is relative, bro. Yeah, bro, we probably be up there for 20 <laughs> years. It, come, time. it don't even feel like 20 years. We come down, and Esau thinking he, well, he, he drank good, yeah. you know. And the Lord said to come in. He said, come rest with me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be going to the, uh, he gonna, we going to go and rest with the Lord for a thousand years. That's what it's saying, man. It said for a thousand years. But I don't know how long that thousand years may be. A thousand years could be a hundred thousand years for all I know. <laughs> you know? It's mighty, man. Yeah, that's mighty, bro. You be like, two thousand years is like a day. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's time to immortal? Because. What's right. time to immortal? Time is relative, bro. Yeah, that time time ain't nothing. It's associated with death. It's uh, a. How they go? It go like a. Uh, such thing yeah. as it's, 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 really. <laughs> it's a, uh, basically like a day and forever. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like forever and ever. Yeah, you can't measure it. Hey, well, uh, can't Apostle, measure it. Apostle Taha says it's going to be like that. Right. It's going to be like an everlasting weekend. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like you're on, you're on retirement yep. with everything to do you can, can, you can possibly think of. Kind of, yeah. Yep, yep. With a body that won't get tired. Yeah, never get sick. Never get sick. Don't have no pains. <laughs> hey, that's it. Uh, that's it. When you said that, never get sick. No, you know, it's like uh, was it Isaiah forty? You know. Yeah, uh, right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got it. I was holding. Uh, yeah, it's around there. Yeah, Isaiah forty one. But forty's right here too. Uh, it's right here. He said they should. They should run. He said they should mount up their wings like eagles. Yeah, mm -hmm. They should. Run, they, the young men should run, and they should never get weary. Yep. Hey, you know, if, uh, I may, if I may yeah, add, I, I speak as a man, yeah. but yeah. I think me and the brother was talking about this before we came here. Yeah, kind of. We were talking about like, man, the Lord got so many different planets. Who knows what different life forms he have out there? Kind of, yeah. We don't know. We don't. Like, this is, you know, the Lord got man. Yeah, 
Yes, I thought we're only in the Milky Way, you know, one galaxy. And you, and you know what? He and he did it all for us. If he do, you know what I'm saying? Because look, he said he said my father had many mentions. He said if it wasn't so, I wouldn't tell you that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's talking about all the galaxies, man. It's it's all for the election, man. To have, man. Call Lonya how about me on shot to partake in his partake in his uh, uh in his heritage, man. Uh, that's mighty, bro. I watched one of the elders from North Carolina. Yeah. And he was doing the video. It's a video called "Mastermind of the Most High." Yeah. And he was talking about how Esau he found three, five hundred different planets. Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. And he said, he said Esau just looking at shit that he ain't never gonna taste. Right. He said all that for us, man. This is houses and shit, cities and shit, you know. And the Lord might get that brother like a hundred thousand Edomites, you know, <laughs> two two million Edomites for slaves. You know, that, I mean that's what he gonna be doing in the kingdom anyway. Cracking that back. Yes, it man. Yep. He ain't shot that flash. <laughs> he might walk on with no flesh, no skin, just foot, just muscle. Screaming and shit. <laughs> just pink. Sorry, he's on his ass. Man. Ugh. Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. That's it. <laughs> Damn, brother. And a lot of alumni of blood gonna pursue your ass forever, nigga. You got that second Ezra's Joe? Nah. Go ahead, brother. Get it, <laughs> <laughs> Get it brother. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to start at verse. Okay. This is second Ezra's chapter 2, starting at verse 42. Mm -hmm. I, Ezra, saw upon the mountain of Zion a great people whom I could not number. Mm. And they all praised Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with songs. And see, that's talking about like uh, it's talking about the hundred and forty four thousand. It's probably talking too about the whole, you know, uh, elect, you know, which is also considered with the one third, because he saw a great people where he could not number. Like, damn, there's so many of them. Right. You know, go ahead. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, mm -hmm. taller than all the rest. Upon mm -hmm. every one of their heads, he set crown and was more exalted, which I marveled at great, greatly. And we already know who that's talking about. That's talking about the Lord, man. The Lord in the cause of Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. That's what he saw, man. You know? Uh, Go ahead, brother. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These are they that have put off the mortal clothing, yep. <laughs> and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned. See, that's talking about home. the men. That's talking about the men that, that uh, forsook, you know what I'm saying, this world, man. You know, they died, man. They, they lost their own life. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, you know, to come and serve the Lord. You know, that's that's what that's talking about. Men, that's, you know, you know that's uh, true and sincere in this thing, man. It's so like you all the way into death, man, because you got some guys in here thinking, you know, but hey, the Lord going to take care of them. But that's talking about the ones, you know what I'm saying, mainly that's going to do all the way into the end. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Verse 46, then I said unto the angel, what young person is it that crown, that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? Mm -hmm. So he answered and said unto me, it is the saint, so like it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that cut so stiffly. And you saw, you know what, it's the scripture that stuck out of my head when he said that. He said it's them that have confessed them in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because what did the Lord say? For them that confess me, you know what I'm saying? Before men, I shall confess them yeah. before my heavenly Father. That's mighty, bro. That's beautiful, man. Hey, because men of the Lord, I confessing, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in that name, you know what I'm saying? In the world, man, before men. You know, and it, you know, and those men going to stand firm, man, until that day, man. You know, and, and these are the ones that, you know what I'm saying, the Lord confessed, you know, to Yahweh, to Yahweh in the kingdom, man, when brothers out here praying, you, I, you, you praying to the Most High, asking for mercy and forgiveness and praying for brothers and stuff like that. Hey, man, that's being noted in the kingdom, man. Your prayers is being like a memorial, you know what I'm saying, to, to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's mighty, man. Hey, hey confessing Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And they doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh, Shai, he go, in your, he go to the Most High, man. And, and like, hey, man, he, they out here confessing the name of the Most High and the, and the Son of the Most High. Doing the work, 
You know, they preaching, they out here doing the work, they uh, doing their videos, they uh, 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 fighting a good fight, man. They they uh, um, they not just doing it for vain glory or anything. They doing it because they sincere. You know, because that's what the Lord looking for men that are sincere and that believe, man. They got faith in Yahweh, man. You know, he ain't looking for uh, uh, guys that's out here thinking the front. You know, trying to uh, you know be a uh, man pleaser or, you know, guys that got respect to persons or, you know, most I ain't with that. He looking for authentic men. You know, that's real fucking, it's like, excuse my French. He looking for real men, man. Authentic. You know what I'm saying? That's who the Lord gonna confess, man, before y'all watch me. You can say the name all you want, but if you ain't, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, acting in faith and, um, you know, uh, being real and being, uh, you know, uh, living by the word, applying this word, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Right. But if you if you are, hey, man, that's beautiful, man, because that's also confessing the name of the Lord when you actually live by it, too. If, I may, if I may add yeah. real quick, like, it's so mighty to, um, mm -hmm. to confess the Lord, because why? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah is symbolic for a man who conquered death. Mm -hmm. you know <laughs> so it's important to, to yeah. confess him, man. To follow him because we we hoping what to conquer death, yeah. when the fear of death, you know, what I'm saying that's why Paul said, "Oh death, oh death, where is thy sting?" You know, then Yahweh Shai, he was the one that conquered. He, he conquered death. That's it, yeah. You know, and that's what we trying to do: conquer death, putting off that old man, letting uh, what it said, uh, let it go. Those mortal thoughts yeah. that were immortal going to what death, man. You know, this is it. You know, everything around society promotes a death style when we. And it's true, we promoting what? This truth is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And everything about this truth is life. That's you it. Know? That's it, man. Come on, just overcoming that. You know, overcoming that. Actually, it's basically overcoming that fear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just putting all your trust in the Lord, man. And that, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, it's, it's just going to be some gruesome times, man. We, we're about to come up on, man. Uh, it's going to be some times your brothers going to have to flee, you know, to the wilderness. You know, we're coming up on times where, uh, you know, food is going to be scarce, man. And the only way for you to eat, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, Scripture says you should call, cost both, you know, small and, uh, 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 small and great, rich and poor, you know what I'm saying, uh, free and bond, free and bond, you know, take this mark, you know. And get this mark, you know. Go ahead, brother. So I got into something. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say if I may add, we learn yeah. we conquering in fear right now, man. That's it. Yeah. Right now in our daily walk, because we it's, it's, it's many avenues to fear. Fear of what people think about you. Mm -hmm. Fear of uh, a failure. Mm -hmm. Fear of this. Fear of that. So every day as we walk in this in this in this, in this walk in this life, you know, we 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 we, we conquering the fear of these things, man. Yep. You know, when you was in the world, you had so many fears. You fear what people think of you, fear being yourself, fear this, fear that. But through this word, we gain confidence, and now those we able to, we learn how to conquer those fears. That's it. You know, we don't fear what the fucking people think of us now. You know what I'm saying? And that shows how we go out on the highways and edges, preach this word. We don't fear, you know what I'm saying? What man can do to us. We don't fear, you know, we learn how to fear not, you know, a fear losing. A fear change, Jacob. Fear, fear, Jacob. Fear change. And, and the reason why though is because the Most High built us in the faith because He stand by His word, man. Uh, like the scriptures say, He's not a man that He has not he, he, that He should lie. You know, prophecies, man. Uh, you know, the Lord said that this was gonna happen, and guess what? He's gonna make it be made manifest with everything, man. You know, to show His elect, man. Hey, the word is living, man. It's gonna be made, and, and that's how we, you know, gonna have that faith, that great faith in that day, man, to to lean more toward the Lord, man. You know, He gotta say before, you know, what I'm saying to warn us, you know, what I'm saying, and then He gonna show it to us. He gonna show it to us. He gonna make it known, man. Like you said, the scriptures say that the, the, uh, the these words they shall be uh, uh, written in paper and they shall be uh, uh, faithful and true. You know, we gonna see that, man. Though, like I say, though it, uh, 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 Terry, wait for it. Though, though, basically, though it's going to take a little time, man, you know, just wait for it, man. 
Because during that time, man, look, we're going to be occupied anyway in prophecy and being being built up in the faith. Because everything going to happen gradually according to the Lord's plan. And that's that, that that's the, uh, uh, those faith boosters that's going to build you up for, for that time, man. We're going to be ready, man. We're like, yeah. It's like it's gonna be like almost like second nature, probably, man. In that time, man, you know, for the men of the Lord, it's gonna be like second nature to just keep on moving. And because the scriptures say that my saints shall eat, and they shall drink. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna thirst. You know, the men of the Lord ain't gonna be hungry. They ain't gonna be out here, you know, thirsty. And Lord got us, man. That's the point. But all these people out here, man, they gonna be, man. They they not gonna be ready, man. You know, they, they just going to get hit, man. Like, damn. We can't buy. We can't buy, sell. The only thing we can do is take this this karagma, you know what I'm saying, in order for us to live. Pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of you niggas going to take that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the men of the Lord going to be like, ready, man. You know, and we going to be going. We going to be going. <laughs> Flock, you say what, boy? Say, man, the Lord going to be like, pause. I'm like, shit up. <laughs> God, that's it, man. Hey, look. Hey, cause look, man, the Lord gonna have food for us, man. Anyway, even if you gotta wait a day or two, man, maybe three, maybe four. That you nigga, man, you put you take that yep. good rock, but you literally telling this nigga you're my God. Yeah, pretty much. Literally, <laughs> you put your he's putting a no, a fucking tracking device in you. <laughs> that's it. They're yeah. gonna need to upgrade every month, like a cell phone. <laughs> Think about that. Hey, that, and see, and that's how you know. Look, this is the mark, the the MOTB man. You upgrade. You upgrade. Hey, <laughs> your brain you have a headache and shit. And that's how you know that's the the uh, the uh, the karagma is the karagma, the uh, MOTB, because what he said, man, he shall cause both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to get this mark in a uh, in a hand or in a foreheads, man. Because it goes into a currency. This is how you know these more slacking, man. This is how you know these other groups are really, man, the spirit ain't dealing for you to teach the way you teach, man. Because the spirit dealing, man. You can see right now the prophecies right now being, you know, uh, uh, being made manifest of what's going on right now with uh, 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 Russia, China, you know. Uh, 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 shit, even North Korea is doing any little shit, you know. Mm -hmm. You can see all of that, man. With these sanctions, that's what it really is. What it boils down to, man. What's going on? It's like uh, a little mild currency war thing going on right now. That's what's going on. It's like a this. It's a currency thing, man. You know, they they. That's why the scriptures say, "Why do the heathen rage? Why do they uh, uh, imagine a vain thing?" You know, with these other nations, they trying to be the next superpower, man. But it's not according to the prophecies. You know, that, that's not the prophecy that's going to come to uh, 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 pass, man. The prophecy that's coming to pass is, you know, uh, uh, Gog and Magog, you know what I'm saying, doing what they got to do to bring down uh, America. And then the Most High going to bring them down. And the scriptures say, hey, all of they, all of they, uh, 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 Weapons is going to be turned to what? Pruning hooks and, and uh, mm. basically garden tools. You know what I'm saying? Plowshares, right. They're going into slavery, man. You know, all these other nations. The Most High is going to bring every last one of them down because why? It's going to be the nation of Israel, man. Starting with the Most High and his son, King David, on down, man. The election. You know what I'm saying? That's going to have the kingdom of heaven, man. That's going to rule over the world, man. All these other nations and everything, man, forever and ever and ever, man. You know, that's according to the prophecies, man. That's not a vain thing, you know. And we're right on schedule, as we can see through the spirit. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is uh, mm -hmm. Psalms 33 18. Uh -huh. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, uh -huh. upon them that hope in his mercy. To yeah. deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Ooh, ooh, to, to, to read that again, brother. Uh, this this is uh, mm -hmm. Psalms 33, 18. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him and see, upon them that hope in his mercy. See, the Lord, you know, he, he's protecting them, man, that, that believe in, on him, man, that fear him, man. 
That, that's what that's saying, man. The Lord is His eyes is on they, that covering is on them, you know. Because why? They're gonna be obedient. They being obedient and they waiting patiently for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. You know. Right, go, go ahead, brother. To deliver their soul from death. Yeah, we, hey, we waiting for the Lord, man. We have we we have faith that the Lord gonna deliver us from this death, man. You know. Go ahead. And to keep them alive in famine. To keep us alive in famine, man. Everybody else going to be suffering, man. They already said, man, I was watching it last week, that there's going to be a shortage on food, man. Hey, Joe Biden just said, man. Yep. He's, uh, it's the beginning of the NWO. Yeah. So these devils speaking, and, and what Jake worried about? Rock and Willie, man. Meanwhile, a whole motherfucking uh, uh, system is being set up in front of their face. But they worry about, because just all you see, the memes... Mm -hmm. Will Smith, all that shit was set up, man. Yeah, to distract yeah. you from what the fuck really going on. Everything in Babylon <laughs> is a distraction, man. Yeah. To keep you away from it. That's why it's called Babylon, the land of what confusion. Everything is to confuse you. But that's how Satan works. Satan works on on, on a sleight of hand. He he have you focus on one thing, but meanwhile he's doing something behind closed doors. Yeah, that's but, it. But yeah. the truth of the Lord, we so locked to the spirit, we see everything. We like. Hey, we like Neo, it's like <laughs> no, no, no. I'm about to lay it back on what you're saying real quick because, like, like you said, the distraction. Why he, why he got you looking at this bullshit? He over here deploying soldiers over there. In Pol uh, uh, what's that? Poland and Ger Germany, Ger Germany. Fuck it. Somebody help me. Germany. Out. Germany. <laughs> Germany. He's over there uh, putting men. You know, I mean, what do you think he's doing that for, man? Or you know, it could be propaganda too. That could even be a distraction. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. really, at the end of the day, he, I don't know, this nigga show he's scared. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. got their ass shaking like a leaf on the tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shai got yeah. them scared. This yeah. truth. Come. This yeah. truth got this devil shaking out his boots, man. That's it, yeah. I mean, yeah, just a few days ago, I think it was like a day or two ago, Kim Jong-un just literally said, uh, our military is finally ready to pretty much go against the U.S. <laughs> Not just his. China. Iran. Exactly. North Korea. India. Pakistan. Uh, yeah. yeah, let the weak say I'm strong. These motherfuckers, your dumb ass. <laughs> you have, it's like nigga, it's like I got the cheat code to defeat everything, but you so fucking proud, you gonna get everybody the cheat code thinking they're gonna be on your side. Now they finna turn around and use that shit on you, man. Because, 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 mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm. You know what's gonna happen <laughs> over a period of time, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he said, yep. now we're, we're more stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? This is what he's saying. But at the same time, man, look, over a period of time, it's gonna start affecting them. It's going to start affecting these other uh, NATO countries, man, to the point where they ain't going to be able to be with America. They're going to have to say, man, fuck that. That's what it's going to come down to, man. Fuck that. This shit is hurting us, man, financially. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking up the gas, the, the, the food, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, actually, Russia, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 take care of a lot of shit over there in, in England, man. You know what I'm saying? He, they, they, they got a lot of different trades going on over there. You know, that people don't not that, that uh people don't know. That's why they was that's why Putin was over there kissing their ass, like, look man, we're gonna help you with this, we're gonna do this and do that. Not Putin, Slaki, uh what's his name? Uh, uh Biden. That's rusty ass. Yeah, on the real man, because look, he's scared, man. Like, look, cause they looking like, man, this fucking us up, man. What can you do for me to make me, you know what I'm saying, stay with you? Yeah, because yeah. Russia's yep. supplying people with... Uh, and, and this nigga, what he doing is, look, he giving a lot of uh, empty promises, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of empty promises that they ain't going to be able to keep. And that's what's going to make all of them like, no, nah, man, because you said that you was going to do this. You ain't did it. Hey, man, we can't fuck with you, man. Prophecies say, man, they going to what? Turn against us. You know? And that's what's going to happen next, man. Yeah. Come on. You know? And, and all the world gonna be like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? There ain't no honor amongst these, man. Ain't no honor, man. And oh, then... Oh, sorry. No, 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 go ahead, brother. No, you got it, man. And then, look. And then, eventually, they gonna slip in that uh, MOTB. That's gonna come. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Then what? Hey, man, we gonna be there. That's what's gonna be what, man? The, the coming of the Lord, man. The coming of Yah by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, that's what's gonna be what's up, man. That's the time that we are in right now. We're literally 
right there. You know, we right there, man. Lord willing, man, we'll see it in a, uh, I'll say a week or two, maybe, maybe three weeks, I don't know, maybe a month. You know? Let's rock it. Continue on now, uh, Psalms 33, verse 20. Yeah, go ahead, brother. It says, Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He mm -hmm. is our help and our shield. Mm -hmm. For our hearts shall rejoice in Him because we have trusted in His holy name. Yep. So we're going to trust in the Lord. We're not going to trust in man. We're not going to trust in a system, you know what I'm saying, that continually to to disappoint us. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say that uh, he, that the state should no longer stay upon Egypt no more, but should stay upon the Lord, man. To roughly paraphrase it, man. Uh, we already there. Come on, so we're not going to put yeah. your trust in you because you have proven time after time that you're not to be tr trusted, man. Mm -hmm. One minute you're taking the, the mandates away, the next minute you implement it again. Then the next week, oh, we don't need the mask. And then a week later, oh, we need the mask. So why should you trust a man like that? This nigga is just, he's unstable in all his ways. Hey, man. hey, you see what's Constantly going on? Lying to hey, you. Yeah. hey, you see what's going on right now? What's that? That Shine, Shang, Shanghai, whatever they call it, Shanghai, whatever. <laughs> what's the name of that place? Shanghai. Shanghai, it's like it, whatever. You know, Shanghai, you know, they, they, they you know, <laughs> sick over there, man, again. Uh, you know, so. And the mandates, you know, they shut, they said they shut that whole city down, man. Again, it shut the fuck down over there. And now, they over here doing the same thing. And, and that's how you know, man, who, who man, uh, 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 running. who's really uh, uh, running shit in a sense? <laughs> who got the upper hand? We can see that right now, man, through the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? America like, oh, shit. And then China, like, yeah, you got to do say, bitch. You know? <laughs> yeah, hey, that's what's really going on, man. And they just still trying to find a way, you know what I'm saying, to get around. You know, they're trying to find a loophole, you know what I'm saying? They're going to think they're going to find one. They're going to find a false one, man. That's going to really kick shit up even more, you know? I got scripture real quick. Go ahead, brother. Oh, you got it. This is... Uh, Isaiah 10 and 20. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, as such as our escape of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Mm. And the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. And the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Hey, and that's what the Lord look. That's all the Lord sifting for, man. Is the remnant, you know? Throughout the four uh, uh, corners of the earth, man, this word going out. It's like uh, you ever seen like one of those uh, things you sift, you uh, pour uh, like some macaroni in. The screen. Yeah, the screen. The you know what I'm saying? And you uh, you shake all the water out. The strainer. The strainer, right? Kind. Yeah. And that's exactly what the Lord doing, man. He, you know, all through the spirit, man, he just shift, he's sifting, you know, for the election, man. The elect going to come in and hit his thing, man. The remnant, man. Two-thirds, man, the hell with you, man. You know, for all you non-believers, man, that don't believe in the, uh, the true gospel of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the hell with you, man. The warning that's been given to you, man, blood is off our hands now, man. You know, hey, we've been out here preaching. And telling you the truth, you know, warning you, man, telling you you got to repent. But, hey, Jake ain't going to repent, man. You know, they they going to repent at the last, matter of fact, I ain't going to say the last second because it's going to be too late. They're going to try to repent. They're going to try to, re the doors of mercy going to be shut in their face. They're going to be like, I'm sorry. And they're going to be saying, yeah, but shoot me, I was shot. They're going to be calling on Jesus. And if they do call on Jesus, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, it is what it is, man. The Lord doesn't want them, man. We say all the names. <laughs> all of the names. Jesus, Allah, Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, please help me. I like that dude and mummy. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I got precepts. The, nigga, the nigga was playing to every God in the world, man. To save him. Hey, through the spirit, <laughs> I was telling my rib that I said, uh, yep. we shouldn't frustrate the grace of the Lord because... Some people are going to be trying to turn to the Lord in the end, mm -hmm. but it's going to be too late because the Lord, he's going to put a spirit on you uh, to keep going off, to preserve you to the end. 
Well, for your judgment, man. That's it. Because you was, you was uh, thinking, oh, I'm just putting off the Lord. And you don't want to do that. Just say, uh, make no tarry. Return to the Lord. And put off my day to day. Because what Christians do, man, they, they pray. They do wickedness every day. They pray for the exact same wickedness that they said they're going to stop doing. You know what I'm saying? That's part of repentance, man. That's it, yep. And then, uh, you know, the Lord, he can get frustrated. Basically, you, you making his uh, sacrifice down on the cross in vain. Yep. It's all coming to that. That's why you're not, you're saying you love, you're saying you love God, right? But it's not in truth and in deed. So it's got to be actions behind your, behind your words. Just just like if you, if you love your wife, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing to show that you, that you love your wife? Are you doing the things necessary? Even that goes for her as well. You know, and, and being uh, married uh, to Yahweh Shai, man, you know, are, are we doing things pleasing for him? You know, mm-hmm. for his sake, because he, hey, he did it for us. He yeah. paid the ultimate price. His life. Uh, like what the scriptures say, uh, I think it's James. He says, show me your faith and I will show you my faith by my works. By my works. Uh-huh. You know, the, the Lord, he's a man of action, man. Everybody, I love God. Right. Oh God, but you blowing trees and you committing adultery and you doing everything that the Most High hate, but you love God. Then you don't love the Most High. That's why I said, you know, if you, if you do, oh, go ahead, so I can. I was gonna say, you know, because of being fake, they they fly to. Yeah, that fake love. That's why I said, uh, oh, so, oh right here, it says, uh, in Baruch. Is Baruch 4 and uh, 28. It says, For as it was, not so like your church, as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So if he if he did call you to be in this thing, hey, go hard for the Lord, strive for the Lord unto death, and he shall fight for thee. You know? And, and, and seek him ten times more, because being uh, um, in this world, being fashioned according to the world, you're being indoctrinated with all these uh, lies, you know, and philosophies. So you got to come in, come in like a, a, a newborn babe, man. You know, desiring the sincere milk, and then, you know, just praying to the Lord, He'll give you that increase. Because it's it's a gradual process. You're not gonna get it overnight, you know. And it, it all comes to experience, and um, you know, just building upon the foundation that the Lord gives you. I mean, uh, initially we just wanted to. Right. Yeah, you're coming in wounded, and the Lord He gives you that He gives you that med- uh, medication, you know, through this word. So you, you're constantly wanting to indulge in it, you know. But like the elder uh, likes to bring out too, you got to let it uh, digest. You got to let this word digest because it's shit. you might throw it up, you might spew it out, you know. It'll be like honey going in. Alright, but too much honey, you, you throw it all up. Uh, you got more. Uh, it says, no, nah, that was basically the point. Um, you had another piece of it. Which one was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. The second Ezra's? Who no, had that? Oh, okay, good night. No, it was, uh, it's like it was just hitting on the point mm-hmm. in uh, Psalms 9 and uh, nine and 10. Mm-hmm. Just showing that the name of the Lord is not to be played with because you have a lot of people in the times calling upon the on idols, really, because mm-hmm. any any name besides Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is, is a false god. It says, and uh, Psalms nine and ten, and they that know thy name will mm-hmm. put their trust in thee, for thou Lord has not forsaken them that seek thee. And see, and the point is, you got to know the Lord too. You know what I'm saying? For, for them that know thy name, that's talking about them that got their relationship with the Lord. You know, when you know, you know, when you have a relationship with the Lord, you know him. You know, you can trust in him and count on him, man, because his word, man, all because his word, he stand on his word, man, you know, so in that time, you know, you, hey, hey, that's the Lord showing his word, man, that's what's going to build you up in the faith, and it's going to be able to help you, you know what I'm saying, stand in the day of the Lord, that's why it says, draw nigh to me, uh-huh. and I'll draw nigh to you. You know, the more and more you 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 you, you build that relationship, 
with the Lord, man, you get familiar with him more in the spirit. You get stronger in your belief, your faith, you know? Consistency, like getting to know somebody. You know, you get to know who their character is, you know, and what they're about. You know, like, somebody might come around and uh, give out a false, a bad, a false report on a person, but you know them. You know, you know, you know their character, you know what they're about. And then somebody will say this, and you're like, nah. <laughs> no, man, hell, <laughs> motherfucking no, man. He ain't, that ain't even his character. You know, he don't even like that. He don't even like uh, chitlins. You know, just give an example, you know. No, nah, hell no. Nah. You lying, nigga. You know, it's the same thing about, you know, being, you know, built up in the spirit when you how about shooting that shot. You know, man. You know, you going to know in that time, man. What he said, I do nothing but reveal it. My secrets Secret until my service the prophets, man. Uh-huh. That's it. Uh-huh. And because what he also said, he said, for them that love me, and, and, and he, that love uh, 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 me and my heavenly and the heavenly Father in heaven, we shall come in and make our bow with them. You know, because when it's the Lord knocking at your door, man, you open up the door to Him and the Most High. You know, they're gonna come in and make their bow with you, like the brother said. He gonna re- and then they're gonna reveal their secrets into you, man. You know, meaning these prophecies, man. You know, the, uh, the breakdown of this word, man, in truth and spirit, man, you're going to have an understanding of what's going on. You're going to have a breakdown, man. Mm-hmm. All through the spirit, Paul, you have my shimmy, I was shy. <laughs> and ain't nobody going to be able to come to you in that time, you know what I'm saying, to try, to try to tell you something different. Because Satan going to be trying, bro. He <laughs> yeah. going to be trying, man. He going to be like, look, man, you nigga, you hungry, you know. You got to eat that damn chicken and noodles, you know. It's awful, you know. All types of shit, man, gonna be coming in your mind in that day, man. All you gotta do is get this chip. They got a big ass feast going on in the other side, man. They got a big smorgasbord, you know, food just all over the place. Lawful food, nigga. All you gotta do is get the chip. But you gonna have some niggas like, they gonna go for that shit, man, because you know why? They think the uh, the MOTB is a uh, embargo or a. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, uh, the so-called white woman. Or what? Christianity. 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 Yeah. You know, and they gonna be like, yeah, them GMS niggas, you know. And then they gonna go over there and, and, and you know, had a smorgasbord, man. But you know so it's crazy you say that. That's why the Lord put the spirit upon this devil to do that, that crime royale. Yeah. And shit, that was really a test run. Yeah. For the elites, but it's also to show, you know, people who really, for the minute, who really... Who really about the Lord? Nah, yeah. That shit came out, motherfuckers. You thought that was hardcore for the Lord? Yeah. Went in a uh, on video, yeah. sleeve rolled up. <laughs> Go in and do what you gotta do, man. And scoffing. And scoffing. And like scoffing. So how much more when the MOT? Them niggas gonna take that shit like it ain't nothing. And now they got these new commercials here now on TV. Like they be like, I was on the fence. <laughs> But now, you know, you got to get uh, jabbed up. You know? have a nigga like Magic Johnson, don't yeah. I hear ass, <laughs> promoting the MOTV. Watch. And there's going to be niggas like that, you know, and even that time, well, I was on the fence. They're going to be saying the same damn thing, man. And they, they're going to try to promote that shit, like the brother said. Yes, sir. Yep. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Second Corinthians. Let me start at verse 3. Yeah. It says, Blessed be the power, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. The Father of mercies and the Father of all comfort, whom cometh us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. And you know, you know how he comfort us, man, all through his word and prophecy. You know, basically he's showing us, you know, hey, it's gonna be all right. This is where we at. You know, this is the time it is right now. Hold on, brother. Like, what did he say? Uh, in the book of uh, uh First Thessalonians four sixteen. That so, and uh no Re- another these with these words. No, Revelation uh three and eleven when he says hold fast. Oh, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, until I come. Yep. He said he said no, he said I come quickly. I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Come and my reward is with me. And the Lord, he, he letting us know, man. 
you know, where, where, where we at, man? He, he told us, man, he letting us know, hey, brothers, I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost there, brothers. Hold on. Just keep on fighting, man. You know, but see, hey, Jake, I mean, the regular average Jake, third ass nigga, he ain't gonna understand this, man. Go ahead, brother. Because he says, verse four, mm -hmm. whom comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort uh, where with we ourselves are comforted of the power. For as the sufferings of Hamashiach abound in us, so our consolation also mm -hmm. abounded by Hamashiach. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which, a, which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that ye are partakers of the suffering, so shall ye also, so, so like so shall ye be, so shall ye be also of the consolation. And that's the point. Okay. Because of what our Lord went through, you know, and, and, and what we going through now, you know, it's because of our Lord ultimately though, you know what I'm saying, that's going to get us the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's what's because we partaking also in those same sufferings, man. A lot of brothers that lost wives, that lost uh, family, children, you know, jobs, you know, just because of uh, they serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. There's a prize for that, man, you know, because you partaking in that suffering. And which is, look, our affliction is a light affliction compared to what the Lord went through. But you know what? Some brothers might have to go through the guillotine or a uh, fire range or being hung or being tortured. You know, who knows, man? That's ultimately partaking in the, in, 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 uh, uh, the suffering of the Lord. And in that time, man, even in whatever you got to go through, man, our Lord going to have us, man. He going to have a shit Esau going to be able to do, man. He may, he may, he may slip man. and torture. You may not even feel it. Man, bro, the Lord going to have you, man, in that time, man. He saw that he tortured man. you, but you were already in the spirit room the whole time. That's so. it, man. It's, hey, a, it's, it's like it, bro. It's just like what you be bringing up all the time with uh, uh, Stake Stephan, bro. You know what I'm saying? They were stoning Stephan, man. But he saw the Lord, you know, sitting on the right-hand side of the Most High. Like, the Lord had opened up the spiritual realm, man, to build him up, man. He kept him, you know what I'm saying, from the hour of temptation. Even in that time, man, because even Stephen could have renounced them right then and there. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't even stone them. You know, or they would have stopped stoning them. All he would have had to do is renounce it, but he kept on, man. He kept his faith, you know what I'm saying? And the Lord gave him more faith, man. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, they stoned, they started yep. stoning them more because he said, he said, I see the Lord sitting at the right hand. Come on, yeah. He was getting mad at him, like, what? <laughs> They, you know they got mad because they was already pissed because he rebuked them, man. All through the spirit, man, with, through the scriptures, man. Oh, ass niggas. Bro. Man, look, he brought up the, the scriptures what Moses said. That's all he did. And them niggas was cut. Like the scriptures said, he was cut. they was cut to the heart. They, they, you know what I'm saying? You know. I kind of pray for you. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, first, I mean, second Thessalonians. Uh, I'm going to start at one. No, I'm going to start. I'm going to start at two. It says, Grace unto you and peace from the power of our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. We are bound to thank the power always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other abounding, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the power for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the power that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the power for which ye also suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord you have a shot uh, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So if you go up, it says, uh, which he said, uh, verse four, so that we ourselves glory in you 
and the churches of our power for your patience and faith and all your persecu persecutions and tribulations that ye endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the power that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the power uh, for which ye also suffer. So he was saying like, uh, you're counted worthy when you're going through these things in the eyes of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the persecution that's coming upon us, man. The tribulation that uh that we have to endure, man. You know what I'm saying? Being in this flesh, dealing with people and their different emotions and their mindsets, man. Their demons that's on them. Everything that we go through, man. You know, to fight to uh to serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We're counting worthy of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're uh being uh persecuted and judged wrongly, man, you taking the low and or or. or you know what I'm saying? You're, you're dealing with, you know, like the, the elder was just, uh, Uncle Michael Brown was going into losing your wife, you know, uh, your kids, you know, the roof over your head, your job, you know. All these things is to help you count it worthy for the kingdom of heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's part of the Lord's judgment, you know. And, it, and it's all righteous, man. It's all to help you in the end, man. Even though it may not seem like it sometimes. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? Mm -hmm. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, mm -hmm. whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly mm -hmm. for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Then the angel said unto me, mm -hmm. Go thy way and tell, thy, tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. me just one more precept to finish it off because mm -hmm. uh, this is Matthews 18 and 10 it says take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones uh, mm -hmm. for I say unto you mm -hmm. that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven for the son of man is come to save that which was lost so uh it was like the uh, brother was going into a, a little while back you know what i'm saying them guardian angels man you know what i'm saying they always uh beholding the face of the lord man because our prayers uh, uh is always unto the lord I mean, even if you don't say it man, your, your spirit it, 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 it's a vibration to the lord like calling out to him somehow some way man and you know when you do that the lord give us the strength to stand stiffly man you know what I'm saying? To endure the affliction and the tribulation and the persecution, man. So that way, you know what I mean? It, it was all really the Lord, man. You know? And he's committed to you. You know? Because you actually wanted to stand in it. You actually wanted to uh to strive in the Lord and, and be in the right spirit, man. So and that's mighty, man. And then for, for because of that, you get a reward, man. Man, that's that crown. You know, that's how it shot like. You know what I'm saying? Well done, my good and faithful servant, man. Because you wanted to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. well, kept your integrity. Mm -hmm. huh. That's what the Lord looking for. He's looking for those who are going to keep their integrity, man. Just like the story of Job. Job kept his integrity. Huh. And what happened? He was blessed more than he had at first. That's it. Yeah, that's how the elect are going to be, man. Mm -hmm. On this side, you might be uh, poor and needy. You know, but he's gonna bless you with the everlasting kingdom. Oh, yeah. To where we have everything. But man, what does integrity mean? You're doing the right thing when yeah. no one else is watching, or uh, or doing the right thing when it's not really popular. Because mm -hmm. it's so mighty you say that. Because in this world, having integrity is looked at as something bad, lame. It's lame. Standing for something. You know, saying everything, man, you know, Jake always want to justify on why not having a turkey. Well, he getting money. Right. He getting money, though. But this nigga's a fag. He sold out. But he sold. He getting money, though. And that's the wrong kind of, uh, 
the scriptures say there's you know there's nothing more evil than a man. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, um, the love of the money is the root of all evil. The love of money, it, having money is not evil, but to love money is the root of all evil. Or, or uh, for instance, uh, Pontius Pilate meant to uh to judge righteously when everyone hate the person that's being judged. Like Yahweh Shai, he was hated, man, amongst all of them people up there. Pontius really didn't want to kill him. You know what I mean? He didn't want to send him to the uh to the to the cross. But those that was in the crowd wanted to, man. So it's also being able to stand in front of the face uh, of people that want to see a certain act done that may not be right, man. You know, and that's 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 gonna separate us between you know these other people, man, because our judgment. It's always going to be according to the spirit, man. Right. To do the right thing. Because a wicked nigga looks for any justification in his wickedness. Right. You know, and the Lord, he's not a power that, that, that he, don't, he, he don't honor that type of shit, man. The Lord's going to see your integrity, man, at the end of the day. Well, he's going to go with the crowd. Yeah, that's Because he's a man pleaser. Yeah, the Lord ain't looking for yeah. man pleasing. He's looking for those who, who want to stand firm for him, man, at the end of the day. Yeah. And that's who the ones that's going to get blessed, man. Because the elect is going to have a mindset to stand firm from integrity. And if I may, I got a quick precept. It said, uh, this is uh, Proverbs 19 and 1. Better is the poor that walk in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, bless the poor. Because while we're poor right now, we don't, we don't own nothing. We don't have things in our possession. We have the bottom of society. People don't respect us. Mm -hmm. No, we respect each other, but far as this world, man, this world don't give a damn about us. But the Lord said, better blesses the poor that keep his integrity, man, walk in integrity. Mm -hmm. So the poor, you know what I'm saying, though rich in faith, is going to have his integrity at the end of the day. And he's going to get blessed for that, man. Because the Lord's why he's going to give him the, his just reward. For those who, who, a lot of these niggas that's rich, they got money, all them niggas ain't got integrity. For you to let a man bust you, bust on your back for some cash, you have you 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 have no integrity. You let a nigga take your manhood. So why should any person or anyone follow you? Or a nigga that get his rods cut into a split. Why should I, nigga, you got no integrity, nigga? You got your nuts. You literally self willingly cash registered yourself to have a split, my nigga. You go a box, a, a creative box. You through, bro. So your ass gonna be burnt up at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord looking for real, real men. Uh -huh. And of course, you know, the, the few sisters that listen to learning, they're gonna be saved, but you know, mainly the Lord looking for the men, man. The elect. Uh -huh. you know? The tabernacle. Come on, the tabernacle. The tabernacle of the most high is made of men. Come on. Because uh -huh. the women gonna come. Women follow power. They and when and, 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 and true sisters and women that watch it and believe, they're gonna see. Who the, if they really in the spirit, they're going to see who the Lord dealing with. And they already see it right now. These women know who the real men of the Lord is through the spirit. They know who, what niggas going to fold. That's why we ain't worried about these hoes. When Jacob's trouble hit the fan, these women going to see, bro. They're going to be like, oh. Uh, uh, another unpopular decision may be uh, them holding your child up before you. Uh, and you know what I mean? You tell them not to do what they do. Or, or even, you know what I mean, being put in, in, them, in the concentration camps and enduring, and enduring, you know what I'm saying? And it's my, if I may add, I'm just quick. going into that. I'm, it's, it's I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going into it, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be trying to tell you to take that MOTB, you know what I'm saying, for some food. And you sitting there with your family starving, man. That's it. That might be an unpopular decision, man. People might look at you and be like, this man is not thinking, you know, uh, just. But main, but really, you maintain your integrity. You hold on to your faith. Because the scriptures say, even with Abraham, Abraham, Abraham was faithful so strong that he believed that the Lord was, was able to pretty much resurrect. Uh, you brought that uh, back, man. Do I? Mm -hmm. I it's a lock here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to find it real quick. Yeah, I just, Oh uh, yeah, and that's another thing. 
put them in your head, put them under the guillotine. Because you didn't sell out. I got it real quick. It said, uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he had received the promise, offered up his only begotten son, on whom it was said that in Isaac shall I see the call, I mean, be called. Accounting that the Most High was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. So Abraham had the mindset, knowing the Lord had the power to raise him up from the dead. So even if your children, you know, you know Lord forbid, that happened. Where are you reading from? This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 17. We're we'll reading down to 19. No, chapter five. It said, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And you don't think that's going to come to some of the men of the Lord? You may have your daughter, your children right there, mm -hmm. trying to test you. But you got to have the mindset that Abraham had. He said, he had received the promise to offer up his holy begotten son. It's only begotten son, whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, and counting that the Most High was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also received him in a figure. So Abraham had the mindset knowing that, man, the Lord got the power to raise him up from the dead. That's a strong, he had a strong faith. You got to think about that, bro. Because remember, imagine the Lord told him that through Isaac, I'm going to bless you. And the Lord, and then later on, the Lord asked him to sacrifice. I saw Abraham in the mindset, like, well, shit, the Lord can raise him up from the dead if I even. He not a liar. Yeah. I can trust in the Lord. That's the kind of mindset we have to have, man. You know? And you got to think, too, his spirit towards the Lord was mighty because the Lord was really dealing with him, man. Wow. Directly. No, that's a difference. See that we on our on this end, man, we deal with the Lord through the Spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh Yahweh Shai said, man, our faith was gonna be greater than those that came before us, man. Because we didn't see certain miracles uh that the Lord did right before our eyes, mm -hmm. like in this lifetime. We seen it probably back then, but we didn't see the Lord right here with us heal somebody. You know, from leprosy or cause the blindness. You know, he's doing it now. But you know what I mean? Like, put the mud over the eyes and, and give them vision. You know, you know cast out demons. And those times coming, man. <laughs> you gonna see blood <laughs> start healing. And that's gonna be faith boosters. Um, you gonna be seeing some of that shit, and they, they put you on the guillotine. You probably seen so much, you be like, whatever, nigga, <laughs> chop my head off, bitch. I'll be back. God. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he saw. Yes, sir. And I, before you guys, you feel to chop your head off. And I claim you in the kingdom, pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come back and possess his ass. You're going to be chopping his head off every day. Because who are you even saying that to? Uh, was it uh, Doubtful Thomas? Yeah. He was telling him that. He said, you see. Matter of fact, what's that in Acts, the uh, first or the second chapter? Mm. I'm going to pull it up right quick. I believe it's uh, right. I believe it's uh, the last book of John. Oh, John. If you can find the Son of God for sure. This is the last book of John. Come I got it. John 20. At 27, 26, and after eight days, again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Mm -hmm. Then came Yahweh Shad, the door being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, be, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy fingers, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust through my side, and be not faith, faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered, and said unto him, My Lord, and my power. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. God. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So hey, that hey, that right there put us in the um in the seat of not having just a seed of mustard, a faith of mustard, but the seed of mustard. Because we didn't even see, but yet we believe. 
according to the spirit. So the Lord gave us that spirit to believe you. Everybody else looked at us and think we fucking crazy, man. We telling them that cherries go come beam brothers up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, we tell them things that's even logical that America go be blew up by, uh, you know what I'm saying, the USSR missiles, man. And they don't want to even believe that. We tell them it was a famine that was going to come. We tell them these things, man. They look at us like we out of our mind. We tell them, hey, the dollar is going to crash, man. You know what I mean? These are things that's happening in their face every day, bro. And yet they can't even believe that. But we see it. In the end, too, we link it up according to the, the spirit, man, the scriptures. Yeah, because every man thinks that their ways are right and that the Lord is not going to destroy them. Bro, they what's think, up? They think that they're going to continue on forever living the way that they are. Huh. So. Their thoughts is that they shall live forever in this kingdom. You know, but that's that's. Yeah, we're gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakhadash. Honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Uh, you know, starting in real well, peace and salutations. But all the Akimah here teaching the truth and sincerity. Shalom, Wa'abah, Babah. Shalom, Wa'abah, Babah. 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 Babah.